Okay, so to, in order to scan the distal biceps tendon, we're just going to give you like a, a fairly sort of a nice protocol to follow. Okay, so what I tend to do to scan the distal biceps, just to give yourself a sort of reference points, um, is if you take the level of the elbow, so if you were starting with somebody for the first time, just work out roughly where the elbow crease is. Okay, this is a sort of cheat method, okay? So this is what we like to see. Okay, so you put your sort of hand roughly where the elbow crease is going to be. And rather than aiming your probe directly up the arm, as you might think would be the sensible thing to do, we're actually going to angle the probe slightly off the edge of the uh, forearm. And essentially the angle of the probe should actually dissect the forearm probably about somewhere between a third and half of the way down. Okay, so if I follow that, if I follow that instruction if you like, I have my hand here, so my fingers are kind of across the elbow crease. Okay, I'm going to plonk the probe in a position whereby it dissects. If I follow the line of the probe off, it would dissect off somewhere between about a third and a half way down the forearm, and that gives me my biceps tendon. Now you'll see there's this sort of like, you'll see this that you keep noticing this sort of a uh, hypoechoic line. So what we're actually doing here when we scan the biceps tendon like this is we're actually using the brachial artery as an acoustic window to see the biceps tendon. So we're actually looking across the forearm.